Hi, this is Ariel at Homeschool Together Podcast, and today we're going to show you how to make really great cover images for your Trello cards, specifically uh, book covers so that you can you can find books easily. It, it makes your board very visually appealing, but also um, this makes the books that I own easier to track down when they uh, tend to go on walkabout in our house, as I'm sure happens with a, a lot of folks. So here I have a Trello board. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make a card and I'm going to title it book, let's say. Um, and here is the page on Amazon. So a lot of times what I'll do is the moment that I have just purchased the book on Amazon, I'll go here and I'll grab the image right then uh, since I've, I've just gotten the book. So what you can do is just click on the image of the uh, of the book title and you can see here we drag it across we go up over and you can see here that drop files to upload appears on the card put it there give it a second and voila so that's one way to get the image another way if you go to a google image search let's say you have pyramid but you have an older edition of it so it doesn't have this cover maybe it's got uh, one of these uh, older versions of these eyewitness books which are are really terrific so if i wanted to do that uh, any of these here in the in the images will work just fine let's say i've got this one i just drag and drop from google images uh, another thing that you can do is you can actually take any of these uh images here and you can make a brand new card so let's say you haven't even opened a card yet you could just come over here where it says add another card you drag it here and give it a moment and there now it's just going to give you the title of the image that it pulled in uh, and you can go ahead and change that to whatever you need it to be so those are a few ways to make cool covers one other really nifty thing you could if you decided wanted a gif maybe you want something cool to get your kids excited about starting to learn about ancient egypt so we're going to go ahead and bring in a different kind of cover so this is just a gif and i don't know Potentially, it doesn't let me add a card. Well, that's interesting. So uh, I guess you cannot add a GIF just by dragging into a brand new card. Oh, no, you can. Yep, it did work. It just took, uh, it just took a little bit extra time since the file was bigger. Okay, great. So yeah, here's another way to go. And, you know, maybe you want to put this on at the front and it, you know, your kids get excited about what you're studying. So these are all good ways to make covers uh, so that you can organize the books that you have. Another great uh, way to do it, you could have your card open. Let's say you were going to type in some details about what you wanted to study in that book. Let's say um, maybe a checklist of some other things. You can always drag and drop directly onto the card. That's another way. Now, let's say you have this image and let's say you have another image. What if you wanted to catalog all the different books that you're going to use to study this uh, this topic for your kids, right? You could put you could put um, various various covers in. Let's say now they're just going to use whichever is the most current cover. So if you want to change this, you just go here to one of these ones and say, oh, I want to make this my cover. And you can change whenever you like. So you can change it to whatever you want it to be, uh, whatever moves you. If you want to put a GIF as your cover and then put all your images here as attachments, that's totally up to you. Uh, the other way that you can add image uh, covers, image covers, is through attaching it from either your computer or um, maybe you have them on Google Drive or Dropbox. You have some other images that you want to use as covers, maybe something neat that you've made um, with your kids' names or just, just whatever you want to do. This would be the way to do that, or you can paste via a link. So those are the main ways that I get really colorful covers onto my cards and I hope that's helpful. If you want to know more about using Trello for homeschooling and how we use it, uh, I have a, a video that I'll post in the description for you that gives just a brief overview of how we plan our weeks with Trello. And we did a terrific podcast episode on this where we talked all about the reasons that we use Trello to plan and how we leverage it to get the most out of our homeschool planning experience. So um, I'll link that in the description as well and feel free to check it out. If you have any comments or questions, definitely post them in the comments and we'll get right back with you.